What is up guys and welcome back to another player review. This time we will be reviewing team of the season Fabianski. I believe he goes for I think it was 180 to 200k. So he's quite expensive. I'm not sure there's been a latest price range. I'm not sure if he's been changed. Uh, but he, you know, he's expensive and for his stats, he's not that great. He's got 82 diving, 88 reflexes, 81 positioning and 75 handling, which aren't great stats. But, you know, he could be a, a decent keeper like we saw about with uh, Team of the Season Roberto. Anyway, first of all, let's start with... I, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. Like, the last two days I didn't upload. I've been absolutely incredibly busy with in-real-life things. But, you know, I'm going to keep trying to upload daily again. It's It's been crazy couple of days and it's been a crazy couple of weeks actually since I got back. But... You know, we've got the um, Team of the Season now. We've got uh, one more Team of the Season review tomorrow. And then the new Team of the Season is launched tomorrow as well, I believe. Actually, is it tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Team of the Season is released on a Wednesday at 9pm. So yeah, the new Team of the Season will be released tomorrow. So hopefully I can get my hands on a few of them. I am broke as fuck. Like, it is incredible. None of my players will sell, because obviously everyone's selling them. Price ranges aren't making a difference. My players still won't sell. So I'm running like 30 to 40k. So it's hard to get players and... Obviously, you see, first, Fabianski was actually packed in a first owner. I think it was a 350k pack, actually. So, that's not bad. Uh, free pack OP. But, you know, that's the player. We're going to be using this team around him, which looks absolutely incredible. Again, I don't like Fabric, I guess, but he's in there for chemistry reasons with Isco. But, you know, the team looks pretty decent. So, let's go into a game and see what happens. All right, this is the team we cover against Ipswich FC. He's got a Spanish team, a decent Spanish team. Free at the back. Formation, which means he's actually got five because of the two center defensive mids. Sergio Busquets is a defender. I'm not sure about Ilyara Mendy. I'm, I'm not sure if he's a defender. But anyway, that's the team we're coming up against. And he, the latency in this game is actually awful. It's on, it was on red. But, you know, we never know what could happen. It could be good. It could be bad. EA servers, they just don't tell you, really. There. Fabianski caught in no man's land for him to score a header with PK, I think. That is ridiculous. Like, it went over Nathaniel Klein. Fabianski was nowhere to be seen. What are you doing, Fabianski? He couldn't decide if he wanted to come out or if he wanted to stay in goal. Oh, my God, Fabianski. This is a great start, mate. You're doing so well at the beginning. What is that? Fucking idiot. Look at this. He's caught in no man's land. If you're going to go out, go out all the way. It's like De Gea at the beginning of the season. Fucking bullshit. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Anuo there went fly. What is Anuo doing? Nope. It's like, thanks, thanks so much for that one. That's a beautiful ball through to Ronaldo though. How is he getting pushed out of the way by whoever the fuck that is? Hey, Nathaniel Klein, you're faster than Rodrigo. Also gives the ball straight to Fernando Torres. Rodrigo's ball. Adds their goal. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? These team of the seasons are so shit. Nathaniel Klein gave the ball away there. Fabianski is one of the worst keepers in the game. He's probably the worst team of the season. How was he in the starting 11 lineup? What is this? Look at that. Where was Fabianski? Just taking the ball off. Sergio Busquets. It's Biscuits taking the ball off for Ronaldo. Like it was easy. Oh, and there we go. Good job, Fabianski. Good job. You're a great keeper. Absolutely incredible keeper. Amazing keeper, mate. You're brilliant. Team of the season Klein getting out muscled by I think it was who is that? Rodrigo. Nice one, team of the season Klein. And then with his weaker foot, he still manages to slot it in between Fabianski and the post. Great one, Fabianski, mate. You're doing you're doing the game of dreams there. That was a bad ball and Farragas doesn't know how to finish. Oh my god. Anyone else in that situation would have been good. And Fabregas is there. Anyone else. Literally anyone else in that situation would have finished that. I'm not even going to speak to that one, Fabianski. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Oh, my God. Fabianski's kick there took years to shoot. Oh, my God. Fabianski, what are you doing? Fabianski's really starting to piss me off, though. Fabianski is pissing me off. He's not doing what he should be doing. Oh my god, it's pissing me off. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake! Fuck off, Yaramendi, mate! And he's won a foul! Fucking Yaramendi! What the hell? Oh, 
And Casilla is the best keeper in game, clearly, as well. Fucking hell. There we go. 3 1 went back in. Isco finally making something. Jesus Christ. Thank God it wasn't Fabregas. If it was Fabregas, it would have gone off the fucking pitch. Oh, Jesus Christ, Ox. Oh, he's still got it. Ramirez still got it. Ramirez! I'm done with life. I am literally done with life. What the fuck was that, Ramirez? Moved down to 300k now, but he's still not worth that. No way in hell is he worth that. He's probably not even worth 300k anymore. He's probably like 200. And even then, I still say he's not worth it. He's freaking awful. Come on, Ronaldo. There we go. 3-2. We're back in this. Almost. Almost. I'm not going to jinx it because my defense is shit. And he will probably break through my defense like there's literally no problem. And the there seems to not be for him, really. He can play in the defensive line there. Unless he's playing Diego Costa in defense, which would be funny as hell. There you go. Come on, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. This is an easy run for Ronaldo. Fuck off with Mikel, mate! That is pissing me off! How is... Off Mikel, mate. Mikel needs to fuck off. No, no. And there's Casilla making... The best save of his life. This is his career game right here, mate. Fucking hell, Casilla. And that's the game over. 3-2. I thought the comeback was on. Could it be on? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, the lifesaver of the team. Jesus Christ. Casilla. That Casilla, who's worth discard value. You could probably pick him up cheaper now. It's going to be better than Fabianski. He is a better keeper than Fabianski. I think he's made like 11 saves this game. Fabianski's made like, what, one, I think? And it was like a pass to him. Half-time stats. What the fuck? He's had two shots on target and he scored three goals. Oh, my God. Four shots, two shots on target, which means my keeper saved nothing. My keeper has done no saves, basically. Brilliant. Get into your position, God damn it. It's a goal because Fabianski... Oh, 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 yeah. Well done, Fabianski. You're so fucking good, mate. You're brilliant. You're so fucking good. Jesus Christ. I mean, even Roberto with his, like, 75 handling would have caught that one. And there's Diego Costa. Bouncing it off Gabriel. Is it going to bounce off Gabriel? Get, takes a shot. I'm done. I, I'm done. I am done. I am done. This guy, every shot he takes goes into the back of the net. Fabianski's so shit. That's not even funny. How has he not saved anything? Not even one shot. Like, that was dirty. Oh, my God. He's still got it. Ronaldo, the boss. There you go to Neymar. Oh my god, that Mikel! Who the fuck is Mikel? That's not even funny. That's the second time he's done something that shouldn't even be possible. Either this is EA AIDS or uh, Casilla is probably one of the best fucking keepers. Like, the most unknown gems in the game. Because that is ridiculous. Like, how has he saved that as well? If I get outmuscled by PK and there's fucking Mikel, my nightmare. There we go. 5 4. Five. So that's full time stats. Six shots he's had on target. He scored five goals. Great one, Fabianski. You're so fucking good, mate. Thank you so much. I had 13 shots on target. Because he has made the game of his fucking career. All right, guys. So you saw that game. We lost it 5-4. It was a tough game in terms of uh, me defending. The defense was shocking. Like, fuck you, Gabriel. Fuck you, Anoa. You're shit. But you know who's even more shitter? This fucking twat right here. I've played with him before. He, we won. But I won by outscoring the opponent, basically. I outscored him completely in the first game I played with him. I think it was like 7-1. So he, But that's it. Like The guy couldn't... He kind of like stopped trying to attack after a while and just kept defending, went ultra-defensive. Now, that game you saw against an average team, right? That was an average team at best. Casilla played amazingly, making 13... Well, think about that. I scored four goals, 13 shots on target. He made a total of eight... No, wait, is it eight? No, it's nine saves. And my guy makes one fucking save. That's it. One save. And concedes five goals. One of them being a long shot. One of them being from a corner where he decided to stand halfway in between the players and the goal. Then run back instead of running for the ball. Another one was just a bullshit. Like, he passed it out to him. And 
The ball was passed to him and he kicks it to the side. Instead of hitting it towards forwards, he hits it to the side, right into Diego Costa's path. Is he worth his price tag? Let's see how much he's worth. How much is this guy worth? 200k. Is he worth that? No. Is he worth minimum price? No. I wouldn't even pay 10k for this guy. You can buy better goalkeepers in the BPL for like a fraction of this guy's price. De Gea. He goes for what? Like 6k. Much better. The 85 rated De Gea. Loris goes for 5k. Much better than this guy. Courtois goes for like 10k. Better than this guy. They're all better than Fabianski. I would not care about this blue card. Yeah, I do not care. I'm actually going to send him straight to transfer list. I don't even care. Look, place on transfer list. You're shit. Go. Bye. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I know it turned into more of a rant at the end there. Uh, I absolutely hated him. You saw that game. You saw his saves. His saves were freaking atrocious. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do not pick up Fabianski, in case you didn't get it from this episode. Do not pick up Fabianski. He is shocking. Okay? He is the worst keeper in the game. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you didn't, please leave a dislike and let me know down below what I can do to improve it. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. And I'm sorry if this offended anyone who loves Fabianski in real life. I'm sure he's a decent keeper in real life. But in freaking FIFA, his team of the season is shocking. So, guys, I will see you guys next time.